word from our sponsor. Advanced Elements is the leader in design and manufacturing of inflatable kayaks with cutting edge technology and providing excellent customer service. All of their products are designed to give paddlers the tools they need at a value they deserve. Check them out at advancedelements.com or call toll-free at 866-262-9076. Hello, and welcome to Paddling and Pedaling Florida Adventures. I'm your host, Mr. D, and man, am I excited. Uh, I've been looking for a long, long, long time to find a step-through e-bike with the same features or more features than the T42 by G-Force. Now, you know, the T42 G-Force has hydraulic brakes, has a 750 watt motor, uh, has a, I think it's a 20 amp controller. Um, I have the 16 amp battery in mine, and it, you know, it's a great bike. Now, I also own a 2.0, which I'll be selling, but it's not a bad bike. I ain't bad mouthing it, but it doesn't suit my needs. Three inch tires are just too small to do these nature trails out here in Florida that what they call powder dirt will pitch you all over the place. So I was looking and I settled on the U7 from Vidlin. I hope I pronounced their company name right. Uh, so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go ahead and unbox this bad boy and see what it's all about. So hey, stay tuned. We are gonna get down with it right now. All right, guys, before I cut the side of the box, I want to get any loose stuff out of here. Like the, this should be the charger, I would think. Let's take a look here. Now, my understanding is this is a 3 amp charger, too. And that's kind of cool. All right, what do we got? We got some wire ties. That looks like the headlight cable, the headlight screw. We set that off to the side. The pedals, uh, this one comes with a water bottle mount. The tool kit, let's see what's inside here. Oh, wow. All right, we've got, looks like a number five, a number four, and a number three, I'm not sure. Um, looks like an old motorcycle kit, to be honest with you, with the uh, insertable uh, screwdriver for flathead and Phillips. Uh, nice little kit. Let me set this off to the side. Because I'll be using that here in a little bit. I'm just really excited about this, guys. I really am. Okay, let's see what else is in here. Holy mackerel. An actual user manual. And this should give me all the steps. Now, I was looking for this online. I couldn't find it. But it talks about charging the battery, operating your new bike. Uh, one thing I'm looking for is the programming. And this has a color LCD, guys. I mean, dog. Yep. These are the steps on how to uh, change things up. That's definitely what I was looking for because I want to max this thing out. Let's set this off to the side. All right, and this should be the three amp charger. Make sure here. Now it says 2.5 amp, no, three amp charger, output three amps. So it is a three amp charger and it's got a different plug than what I'm used to. This looks like an old microphone plug for the old uh, Big microphones for studios and stuff. That's what this plug looks like. Really cool. Very nicely done. Now, one thing before I get going on this, I want to congratulate Vidlin and FedEx, actually. This thing came in three days early. Uh, really surprised me this morning. It was scheduled for Thursday. This is a Tuesday. Um, and I get this notice that it's out for delivery. And I went, wow, this is really cool. All right, so what I'm going to do is, again, any loose stuff that's here, I'm going to pull out. This should be the seat. Yeah, the seat post. I'm not sure what the seat post size is. I will be miking this stuff out to find out. 
Let me just set this off to the side for right now. Okay, I think now we are ready to open this thing up. Now, I've learned on the last couple of e-bikes that I've got, guys, uh, being I'm not a spring chicken, what I do is cut the sides and just pull it out the side, and that's what I do. It's a heavy-duty corrugated box, too. Okay, that's the first side, and we'll get the other one. Now, this is a cool way to do it, guys. To duh. <laughs> All right, so let's get this bike out. I don't know what that is. Oh, it looks like a protecting thing for the. Yeah, it did get scratched up a little bit right here. A little black paint will fix that. Best spot to grab it. This looks like about it right here. Oh. All right, guys, uh, what we're going to do is go ahead and get all the packaging materials off and then put this thing together. Looks like this bike comes about 95% assembled. Put the seat in, and that's about it. Okay, now what I'm going to do, guys, is just uh, start clipping and take all the packaging off. Alright, let me get the handlebars done so I can get them installed. Well, they even double covered the LCD screen. That's really cool. Alright, this thing should lay us for this. Okay, here's the keys hanging right here. I guess the battery is installed. Yes, it is down here. All right, let's continue taking stuff off and we'll be able to open this up and see what we got. All right, we're getting there. Hi guys, we are just about done with all the packaging and stuff like that. I'm gonna make sure everything is is cleared off here. I got one that's hanging out on me here. There we go. All right, all the packaging and everything is off. I'm gonna go ahead and install the seat. I've heard some stories about the seat being pretty comfortable. Uh, I am ready to switch out to a different seat first, but before I do that, guys, I want to make sure that the seat is okay. Also comes with a suspension seat post. I don't know how good it is, but we're going to find that out, too. Uh, being vertically challenged, I have to have everything all the way down. All right, adjust this. That might be it right there. It ain't moving. Wow. Okay, that's on. Now we're going to go ahead and do the pedals real quick. Now is go ahead and install the uh, the pedals. This one here, you'll take the supplied 15 wrench. Now I recommend that also you use uh, blue Loctite on your pedals. Now these people have taking the time to ensure that you're getting the right pedal in the right spot. It even has a, uh, a right pedal and gives you the turning direction on the, the uh, crank itself, which is really awesome. Now I'm gonna add just a little bit of blue Loctite here. And on the right-hand side, you go clockwise with it. Uh, 
Now take your 15 and go ahead and tighten it up. No real bind that I can feel so far. It's going in pretty smooth. That means the threading done in machining was done well. I'm getting close to the end. But no. And it's a shoulder bolt on these uh, pedals, guys. So you want to make sure that that shoulder uh, gets up against that. Now you can take that sticker off. So we got that one done. Okay, we're going to shift over to the other side and do the other side. Now on your left pedal, it goes counterclockwise, guys. Again, I recommend that you add blue Loctite. You don't need a grip, just a, a bead. And that just helps keep it into place. Okay, and here we go. Now this one is counterclockwise. And there we go, no problems. Same thing, just gonna tighten this thing up. Okay, these are folding pedals. I want to see how they work. Hmm. Okay, no problem. I just got to get used to this this particular style. Okay, do it again so I learn. Okay, we're good. All right, so that takes care of the pedals. I'm just doing a visual right now to make sure everything is okay. I don't know what the tire pressure is on these right now. It looks pretty low. So we'll be doing that here in a bit. Well, here it is, guys. Um, I, I'll tell you what, I was blown away on how easy this was to assemble. It came, I'd say, 98% assembled. And the 2% is putting the, the bars in here and putting the seat post in. But I didn't have to put the wheels on. I didn't have to do any of that. Now, I still have to uh, check the air on both tires because I know they're low. And I want to do that here uh, off camera. And I also want to clean up all the brake rotors with isoprol alcohol. I'm going to check all the torques and make sure everything is tight. Uh, this is something you want to do with every e-bike that you purchase. Uh, make sure that everything is tight. I did check the battery. It did come with a full charge. Uh, that kind of surprised me a little bit. I turned it on here and I've got, yeah, it gives me an indicator of a full charge. I will put it on the charger anyway before I do the test ride. Now the test ride won't happen until tomorrow or the next day. Uh, I want to take it out to a state park. There's a lot of things that I want to do and share with you guys informationally on this particular bike. I am going to be changing out the handlebars uh, to mustache bars and those are the mustache bars that are coming off my G-Force because I am putting on the uh, David brand new uh, uh, turtleneck and BMX bars on my T42 G-Force. So I'm going to transfer the mustache bars over to this bike and maybe, maybe uh, if I like the uh, turtleneck system, I may be uh, changing this one out to a turtleneck, but I don't know yet. Uh, I was warned that this particular uh, suspension seat post is really stiff. Uh, an adjustment could fix that. Check. I'm putting in the uh, suspension seat post that's on the 2.0. And if, if the ID and OD match, and if not, I may have to sleeve it. I don't know. I've got to mic that, find out what the ID is, and see if it's the same ID over there. And if not, purchase a sleeve or uh, just have to buy that particular uh, suspension. Because this one, because of its angle, uh, you'd have to be sitting way back here for that thing to really work. Uh, I'm not really sure, but hey, I may be wrong. Now, one of the things, here's a tip. In some of the packaging that you get with these e-bikes, this highly dense foam rubber, you know how when you fold the bike and the screws scratch the heck out of the forks down here? Um, an adjustable Velcro strap, I'm going to cut this in half and then put it in with my uh, transport kit 
So when I transport it, it'll be strapped up like this. So when I do fold it, it won't scratch that fork. Really a cool way to do it. I was looking today, uh, I've done this with a piece of styrofoam and now I'm gonna cut this in two and use uh, half of it for the G-Force and this half for the uh, Vitalin. So what I'm gonna do now guys is uh, go ahead and do some of the preventive maintenance stuff. I gotta check everything, make sure everything's right. Uh, like I said, cleaning the rotors and all that kind of stuff. Then I'm gonna be doing a comparison with the G-Force and the Electric 2.0 all of these together. I want to check out the rotors, uh, rotor thickness, all that kind of thing, because one of the things that sold me on the Vitalin U7 is the thickness of the rotors. Not just the size at 180, but the thickness. These bad boys are thick. So I'm gonna mic those, find out what the differences are, and share that with you. So hey, we'll be back in a bit. Hi guys, I'm gonna show you a really cool way on how to load, fold and load your bike. Now remember I talked to you about that dense foam? That's right here, so I won't scratch the forks when I fold it. I've got the pedals uh, collapsed. I'm gonna unlock the bike. Now, this is the first time folding this for me. It's gonna be interesting because I haven't done it yet. Okay, not bad. Okay. Now this is where my strap comes in. Hi right, guys, so what I want to do is I want to strap up these two halves together. And how I do that, I go over the rear rack and then feed this through. Now I have an alarm here underneath, so it's kind of hindering what I normally do, but it kept the, the bike in place. So we're all good. Now the load is really cool. Now I learned this from a gentleman. I use it on my G-Force. Now I haven't done it with this bike yet but I'm going to here in a minute. So basically all I do is grab it, like, where can I grab it from? It's a different bike, so I gotta figure it out. I think from the giraffe stem. And I just pick it up like this. Now basically all I'm gonna do is roll it inside the tote. It is inside the tote and flush. Now I'm gonna set the tote down. So there it is in the tote. Now I can fold it down. Now I normally pull mine out, which is what I'm gonna do here. Giraffe stem, there we go. Tuck this in like this. Take the bars. All right, so there it is all loaded up, guys. Oh. And the next thing to do is run it up the pet ramp. I'll do that in the morning. But right now I'm just gonna go ahead and get it parked for now. And the bike is all ready to go for tomorrow. Hi guys, uh, the comparison I wanted to do uh, originally was to line up all three bikes and do the comparisons uh, step by step. However, because of my medical emergency, uh, we had to change that up a little bit. So anyway, well, let's, let's talk about the tires. Uh, the Vitalin has a 20 by fours, G-Force T42, 20 by fours, electric 2.0, uh, 20 by three. The brakes on the Vitalin are hydraulic, T42 hydraulic, 
and electric 2.0 mechanical. The motor, Vitalin U7 is a 750 watt, T42 750, and electric 2.0 is 500. The rotors, uh, front and rear on the Vitalin U7 are 180. On the T42, it's a 160 front, 180 rear. And on the um, electric 2.0, they're both 160s. The rotor thickness was really important to me. As you can see, the thickness differences between the three bikes. The seat tubes, uh, 2422 uh, ID OD2405 for the U7. The T42 is ID 30.47 and OD is 30.85. And the electric, it's 28.47 ID with an OD of 28.67. Now the weight for the U7 is 70 pounds, T42 is 79 pounds, and the electric 2.0 is 61 pounds.